three signs of an eternal mindset. They know that if they can grab your attention for 30 seconds, they can change your behavior. The whole world is fighting for your focus. I want to talk with you about three signs of an eternal mindset. Why do you think that the Super Bowl can charge two and a half million dollars for a 30 second ad? Like, why would they do it? Because they know it's worth it. They will make all their money back and more because of that ad. And the reason for it is they know that if they can grab your attention for 30 seconds, they can change your behavior. If they can get your attention, your focus for 30 seconds, they can give you an appetite for Pepsi instead of for Coke. And they will make their money back. You see, your focus is so important. The whole world is fighting for your focus because they want your money. Now the Bible says, set your mind on the things above and not the things of this earth. Why? Because if you have an eternal mindset, a heavenly mindset, you will also have heavenly values. The person that's eternally minded has a complete different set of values. Therefore, their decision-making process here on earth is, uh, is on a completely different set of values than the person that is earthly minded. C.S. Lewis made this quote. He said, The Christians who did most for the present world were precisely those who thought most of the next. In other words, those Christians who were eternally minded were extremely productive and fruitful right here on the earth. So here are three signs of a person that's eternally minded. Measure yourself against three, these three signs to see whether you are earthly or heavenly minded. The first is that the person who is eternally minded always identifies with their heavenly citizenship over their earthly citizenship. In other words, they will first identify with themselves being a Bible-believing Christian, a son of God, an ambassador of heaven here on earth, long before they identify with themselves as uh, their nationality and their culture, their career path, and so forth. Secondly, the person who is eternally minded will always prioritize kingdom responsibilities over their personal ambition. The Bible says in Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Ask yourself this question. Uh, what do you consistently sacrifice in order to see the work of God thrive on the earth today? The third sign of a person that's eternally minded is the person that always chooses value over emotion. In 1 Samuel 30, we see David was raising up this army. They went to battle. They came back to their camp after battle. And they saw that their camp had been raided and burnt to the ground. All of their wives and all of their children had been kidnapped. The Bible says that these soldiers were exceedingly sorrowful, including David. But to take it a step further, all these soldiers then turned on David and wanted to stone him to death. And here David is, completely sorrowful. He had lost everything he ever loved. And now the men that used to be so loyal to him now want to murder him and stone him. The Bible says at this point, David turns to God and he encourages himself in the Lord. This was his principle. This was his way of living. No matter how sorrowful he was or no matter how fearful he was, he always turned to God. So the person with the eternal mindset is the person who will always value principle over emotion. So the question you can ask yourself here is what rules you? What rules you? Are you ruled by what you say you believe or by what you feel? Hi there! If you're enjoying these short teachings by Jacques, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can like and follow.